hello and welcome to this tutorial uh, our tutorial number five and in this particular tutorial uh, we are going to look at the report how to create a report in a database remember in the very first tutorial we looked at how to create a database and a table we then looked at how to uh, use the auto numbers as a data type we also looked at how to create lookup wizards then we went on to look at a form and this tutorial here we are going to look at how to create a report remember i told you that a report is used to uh, view the data or to display the data in a table or in a query and therefore since we already have a database created for this particular question Let's go to our database and see how we can create a report for it. So this is our database and uh, we are going to see how we can create a report for the data here or to display this data here in our database. So just like uh, we create a report, I mean a form. Uh, when we go to the create tab we are also going to still go in the same place and this time around we are going to look at a report now just like we were looking at a report here uh, at a uh, form yesterday and we said that we have the form where we just click and then the form appears we also have the form wizard where we have the stepwise uh, guidelines on how to create a form then finally we have what we call a form design which i actually emphasized in the same way the report also has the same features we have a report if i just clicked here on the report you would see a report appearing and that's how it looks like but you can really see that it looks very unprofessional then i will not emphasize this and i wouldn't wish anyone to use this to create a report then we also have what we call the report wizard where we have the stepwise guidelines on how to create a report we go to next uh, we look these are the fields that are going to appear in our report and uh, do you want to add any grouping of course we have not looked at grouping yet so we move to next next and uh, well that is our report so we finish and there our report is so our report is looking like this but still i will say that i do not emphasize this way of creating a report and therefore i'm going to emphasize using the report design so we go to the report design and there they give us a blank page where to create our report so from here we said I mean we are going to go and add the fields that we want so we go and add existing fields and we're going to show all the tables remember we only have one table we click on this plus sign to display all the fields and say and therefore we start adding one field at a time we double click on each field to add it we double click on each field to add it so after doing this this is what i'm going to request members to do remember if we try to leave our form like this and we go to, to view it that's how our report is going to look like each particular field is going to appear very i mean the, the report looks very unprofessional and therefore we shall go back to the design view and try to organize our report now remember this report has two parts it has what we call the page header and then the detail section now i'm going to ask members to do this come and cut all these fields right here in the detail section those fields that carry the field name cut them out and paste them in the page header paste them right there then start organizing them organize them so that you have Well, we organize them 
in order so i will start moving one field at a time i move this field to that point until all of them are done move this one move the next one they are until all the fields are done after moving them all here like this now you can see that our field are arranged horizontally now from there i'm just going to go and reduce on this space right here so that i have no big space remaining and then what next is we also start organizing these remaining fields here we carry one at a time and match it with the field header carry name also match it with the field header it's right here we can reduce the space here and also reduce the space here so that we have a organized report and we do the same until all the fields are done so after adding all the fields and organizing them this way see now our fields are organized each field is directly under the field uh, and title holder so we come down and reduce on this area as well so the page the detail section is also reduced reduced to that point so you can now see we have reduced everything so that is actually how our design is going to look like now from this point uh, remember this report area is adjustable you can increase it you can reduce it depending on how many fields that you have so we can now really view how our report is going to be looking like and now from this point we can go back and view our report and now that's how our report is looking like so we can as well go and make a lot of modalities on this report but that is going to be for another lesson so for this particular lesson uh, let's stop it at this and i'm sure everyone has been able to understand how to create a report thanks for watching